Now that we've bought our domain name from GoDaddy and our hosting from HostGator, we need to tell GoDaddy the name of our server. So somewhere in our email from HostGator, we got the name of our server and it's called the name server. And it literally looks like this. So the email is gonna say name servers and it's gonna have two to four name servers. Once we have this information, we need to go into GoDaddy and log in. And we go over domains and we go to domain management. Now let's just click on a domain name. And once we're here, <clears throat> excuse me, once we're here, if we scroll down, we'll see name servers. So HostGator is going to email you some name servers with a whole bunch of other different information, but this is what you care about, your name servers. And you're going to put it in here. You're going to press set name servers. Now, I've already set mine, but yours are, are going to be something different. GoDaddy already puts their name servers, but since we're not hosting with them, we're hosting with HostGator, we're going to put the HostGator name servers. This is the name of your server. This is literally where your server lives. So enter in the first one and the second one, and then press OK. Now, this is going to take about two hours, but it could take about it could take up to 48 hours to take effect. Just press OK and go get yourself a coffee or have lunch or something. And when you come back, I will show you how to install WordPress in my next video.